I never thought I'd be doing something like this, you know? When I wake, it's to put others to sleep. Well, it used to be that way, I should say. I've been gone a while, and that job had to be done by someone, so... I guess there's others in charge of that now. Which I suppose makes those two my bosses now. Which feels weird to say. But that business is a worry for when word spreads. For now, I don't think anyone... Well, I don't think most people know I woke up. And that means, at least for now, I'm free. Free to see how much the world's changed since I went away. Free to catch up on the stories I've missed over the ages. Have you guys seen Castlevania? Spooky stuff. But most importantly, I'm free to talk. Just you. And me. Hello everyone. It's been a while in the making, but hey, here I am. From down in the underground, it is Hypnos. Oh no, I've been away a while. It's all coming back to me slowly. But, uh, let's go through who I am, yeah? So, age. Old. It's been a while since I've been away. It's hard keeping track of stuff like that. But, you know, it, I'm pretty sure it's been a while. Height. I'm a big boy. Standing at... Well, not the biggest boy, I know, I guess. But at 5'10", I'm, I'm tall. I'm not small. Yeah. <coughs> Apologies. Uh, uh, language is only English. I'm trying. Maybe one day I'll uh, conquer others, but for now, it's just the one. Apologies. Well, let's get into... Enough about me. Let's get into me. You know? What do I hear about? What do I like? Vid video games. I wouldn't be here if, uh, if that wasn't the first one up, right? I like my video games. <laughs> but, uh, not just the videos. We're also going... Gaming, exactly. We're here for the gaming. Uh, not just the video games, though. I like some tabletop, too. As much as I like all the uh, fancy graphics, it's nice to just, you know, sit down at a table sometimes. Get a drink, couple of friends, and just uh, be a bit more chill. Uh, on being a bit more chill, we also got uh, making and painting models. This is like... Uh, like D&D minis, uh, you're, you're gonna discover this real quick, big nerd energy. It's been uh, put up there a lot, it's gonna come up a lot, just accept it now. Big nerd energy, we paint in D&D models, we paint in wargaming models. I would go on for more, but it actually kind of just stops there, it's just D&D and war games. <laughs> but, um, like I said, like same with the tabletop games, it's just something you can sit down with, be chill, maybe put some music on in the background, just have a moment to yourself and just, you know, be a bit more relaxed. It's not all, not all high action. Sometimes it's low energy is good energy, you know? Uh, music and musicals is a big, a big, 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 big. I can already hear the comments, big part, <laughs> big part of, um, my day to day. If I'm not, yeah, there it is. <laughs> if I'm not listening to music, I'm not up. You know what I mean? I gotta have some kind of tune going, otherwise I just can't function. It's either just a beat. Well, <laughs> it's either proper music, music, or we got. I'm into podcasts as well. Sometimes I do like it something a little more structured, but most of the time it's just whatever's recommended to me, really. I'll throw it up and that'll be my tune for the day to just go along to. Uh, and then musicals is, like I say, I like that bit more structure. I like to have a story along with my tunes and I just think it makes it a little, a little nicer when you've got a narrative to follow as well as uh, a, nice, a nice little uh, tune to whistle. Uh, next up we got cooking. I very much like cooking. Uh, 
I <laughs> I don't do it enough, unfortunately, but I'm trying to do it more uh, as time goes on. I'm a big fan of um, number one dish. You get a little fun fact about me straight off the bat. Uh, anything stir fry, stir fry is, in my opinion, the best meal because it can be just whatever you want, whatever you've got in hand. Throw in a pot, throw in some noodles, throw in some uh, spring onions. You nailed it. You don't need more than that. You can have less, you can have more. It's the perfect modular dish. And it's, you can just... It's made for everyone. Because you can tailor it to just however you want it. Uh, and then, just a little... Just a little... Just a little bit of anime and manga. Uh, it's It does lean more to manga recently. I was very... I don't want to say very big. I was more on that anime kick for a while. Uh, and then got to the point of just... I can't wait for the new seasons, you know? I need I need to keep the story going. I need to know what happens next. And it just wasn't keeping up to date for me. So I started reading instead of watching. And now I mainly read instead of watch. Uh, that's got me through... Uh, let me think. Well, we'll go into that a bit more as we go on. Uh, last on the list, we got cryptids. I like the spooky stuff a lot. It's not a uh, it's not a constant on my mind kind of thing. But every every now and then, when it just gets late and you got like nothing else on the brain, you know that kind of mindset I'm talking about. I'll just like go off on a tangent of looking into weird spooky stuff in whatever part of the world. And that'll kind of be like me for the next week is looking into this thing. And then the week after, I'll forget about it. Oh, excuse me. Like, I'll go on a Mothman kick for a little bit. And then as soon as it ticks around to Monday again, who's Mo don't know who Mothman is. It's Bigfoot this week. Bigfoot, no, don't remember that guy. We're on to, I don't know, Black Shark. That's more local one. Forget that guy the week after. We're into, I don't know, whatever comes to mind. Just Devil's an Ego. A Mothman kick? Yeah, you don't go on a Mothman kick every now and then. Just get into your Mothman lore for a little bit and then, you know, move on to the next one. <clears throat> but yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. Like I say, I like the spooky. Spooky, good. Comfy, calm, good. But getting spooky, also good. Uh, I will asterisk this, though. I am also a giant coward, though. As much as I want to go out and look for this stuff, uh, the thought of stepping outside and into a spooky forest, absolutely terrifying. I don't know that I'd ever actually do it. As much as I want to... As much as I want to chase the answers, I don't know that I ever actually could go chase those answers. <laughs> um, on to my dislikes. I don't like rude people. I think like that's like a universal. I... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. Unfortunate. I don't know. Mate. Hey. That's uh, that's more your department than mine. Maybe if you want to check out a spooky forest with me, you can, uh, you know, help me out in that. But uh, onto the dislikes. Yeah, rude people. No one likes rude people. You like rude people? Okay, sometimes there's that good kind of rude. There is a line. <laughs> there is a line of the rude positive root negative this is specifically root negative if you're just mean to people for no reason then we're un i'm sorry to say we're just not gonna get along unfortunately uh hot weather bad maybe a hot take haha <laughs> but hot weather no good it just makes you it just makes you feel bad makes me feel not bad. You see this hoodie? This hoodie's not made for the sun. It's made for being nice and comfy. It's not made for going out in the heat, getting me all sweaty, negative. No good. 
uh, on to uh, the next one. We got steak. Hot again. Hot take. I'm starting with some controversy. I don't like steak. I've had it a lot. I've had this conversation with other people. I have never once in my life, and that is a long, long life, never once had a steak that I have finished and been like, that was good. They have all, at best, been just so mid. I cannot... I, I can't get along with them. I keep getting told maybe, maybe I've just not had good steak. I'm willing to say yes, but as things are right now, steak's not good. Uh, and the last one, uh, silence. I really don't like when things get too quiet. That's why I need that music all the time. That's why it's so, such a big thing. When things get quiet, it's just... It just feels off, you know? I'd rather just have something playing in the... Just something playing in the background. Anything, really. Just to... Just to fill that gap. Moving through, we're going to look a, a bit more into the games. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not alone. I always feel weird when I'm thinking about that, but it is good to see that. We got some... Uh, we got some agreement here. Uh, we're looking a bit more into the games that I am down with. Big one. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Four. Oh, let me think. Three, four, maybe. Since, when I, for the people that know it, whenever Stormblood around, that's when I first started. Yeah. Yeah. A fan in the crowd. We love to see it. Um, I started playing around the start of Stormblood, I think it was, and once I got in, it was like locked in, you know what I mean? I just kept running with it, and it just kept getting better the further I, uh, the more we kept going into it. Uh, Realm Reborn, a little bit rough, getting through those in-between quests uh, before they had been uh, touched up and trim down that did almost break me but we got through it we got to heaven's ward it was a fun fun hush oh, fun fun time got to stormblood fun again waited for shadow Brands. that was the first one i was there for the launch of and it was such a good time we love final fantasy 14 uh Honestly, yeah, there's some. Uh, we're not gonna go into spoiler talk here, but uh, Heaven's Ward, very sad moments. Pull one out. Um, <laughs> uh, 14 also has a special place for me, I guess. Because um, I used to play. <laughs> um, I used to play World of Warcraft before 14 uh, cue the booing now if you wish to I'm right there with you um, but I used to play WoW and I used to play exclusively uh, DPS classes because I was genuinely too uh, scared and nervous to play anything else there was such a kind of air of pressure for tanks or healers and WoW to, I don't know if it's changed at all recently, but at least when I was playing, you had to kind of know what you're doing off the bat and get it right from your first try if you wanted to tank or heal or you were out, and that always had me just way too nervous to ever try either of those roles. Uh, but when I got to 14, that carried over a little bit. I was playing mostly DPS. But then I got a bit more comfortable with the game. I found my footing. I spent time with friends. And uh, through all that together, tanking is now my favorite role. Uh, I am a warrior main because it's the best class. You can fight me on Twitter afterwards. Um, but it is objectively the best class. <laughs> um, and I just love... Yeah. 
They, it is. It's so good. It's the best. You can you can solo dungeons as warrior. You can solo boss. You don't even need the party. Just play warrior, and you are set to play <laughs> to play another MMO as if it's a solo game. <laughs> but yeah, uh, warrior is my favorite. I've even got to the <laughs> I've got to the point of I'm not good enough to like, or don't have a schedule, or don't think I'm good enough to like proper raid day one and be in a static for anything but I'm at the point where where we're in like the duty finder I will get very competitive <laughs> over aggro for trials and try and rush ahead not to the point where people can't handle it I'm very careful about that for dungeons unless I know the people then I will pull to the next boss because it's just it's just a little bit of a meme you know it's just a little bit funny Uh, but, um, <laughs> oh, where was it? Uh, but yeah, when it's in, like, trials and stuff, yeah, it's just a little silly, teehee. <laughs> it's just, it's just a little bit of fun when it's, when they're, uh, when they're like, I'll try healer, I'm like, cool, heal this. Uh, but we normally, sometimes, make it through, uh, but in trials, it'll be like, oh, that guy, that round over there? No, they're not the tank. I'm the tank, and I will uh, get a get a little bit competitive about threat and aggro. I want the boss to be looking at me because I've I've put in the time to get good at tank. I want to be the main tank. You know what I mean? I'm the yeah exactly. I'm the big boy tank. I'm the warrior. I've got the big axe. Fight me! I don't want to be just another DPS. <laughs> I fought so hard to get out of that role. I want to be the big tank. And then we try like actual hard content. I'm like, oh, I don't want to be the big tank. Please, you take, you take it. <laughs> You're more than welcome. <laughs> but um, yeah. So let's put uh, Final Fantasy a very special place uh, in my heart. Um, moving on from there, we got Yakuza. This is much more of a recent yeah it's so good um yakuza is a much more recent interest i think uh when did i start playing i'm not exactly sure when i started first first getting into it um but i started with zero because i think i got it in the bundle for cheap and i forgot i had it um but then I was mentioned like, hey, I want to play Yakuza. I'm like, I've got Yakuza. How about I start playing through it? You see if you want to get into it. We'll go through it together. And from, I think, the first five minutes of Yakuza 0, hooked, in, locked. It is one of my favorite games, at <laughs> game series at the moment, even. Uh, I'm having, it's just so fucking goofy. There's no other way I can put it. It's just such a fun, goofy game. Uh, it, it caught me a bit off guard with how goddamn wild it is. Ah, uh, hey, hey, get it, get a little closer. You haven't seen enough of it. Yeah, the karaoke is the best part. A little closer. You haven't seen enough of it. Maybe we got plans for that in the future, huh? Uh huh. Just keep that between you and me, yeah. Yeah, but uh. Yeah, we started getting to Yakuza. It had me hooked immediately to the point that now I have... I think I started playing the remake for one. And it was at that moment... <laughs> I got maybe halfway through the game and went, You know what? I'm committed. And I now uh, uh, bought myself all the way up to six. I'm thinking of buying like a dragon while it's still on sale for those wondering like a dragon and i think all the other yakuza's at the moment still on sale not sponsored uh on steam uh and i've started playing uh judgment as well that spin-off series from it because i just can't get enough now it's such a such a fun fun time judgment a little less goofy but it's still got that yakuza charm oh excuse me it's just just such a good series. I don't know <laughs> how much I can really uh, say about it. There's no one moment you can like pluck out because it's always wilder and wilder. Everything, 
every uh, last moment you could pick, there's probably something wackier that's going to happen five minutes later. And then it will go, like, super serious for a moment, and then you're back to Majima's trying to shank you for no reason, just because that's how he says hi. You know? It's, th it's that kind of game. You'll be having good times. Or... <laughs> yeah. Or the mention of 24 Hour Cinderella. Yeah, you could be um, on this serious trail looking for this missing person. But there's a karaoke parlor there, and you can't miss the karaoke parlor. So you're gonna <laughs> sing 24 Hour Cinderella until you 100% it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's pretty much it. You just get shanked, and you're like, oh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know how much I can <laughs> I can really describe Yakuza. It's it's difficult for me. Favorite game? Love it to death. Literally, don't have words to describe how much I enjoy it. Uh, the Sekiro Souls Born. Oh me, I have to read what I've written. Sekiro Soulsborne Ring. I think there was a couple of other titles I meant to slam into there. But you know what it is. Uh, Sekiro Dark Souls, Demon Souls, uh, Bloodborne, Elden Ring. Love those games. I haven't played Sekiro yet. And I didn't get a chance to play Demon Souls yet. Just because I'm not on the PlayStation for those oh, that much. It's mainly PC, so unfortunately it's only Dark Souls and Elden Ring. I'm going to put a little asterisk next to these ones as again. Uh, again. I'm not good at these games by any mean. Uh, I've only managed to actually finish Dark Souls 1. I got really close to finishing Dark Souls 2, and then I lost my save, and I haven't gone back because the thought of it makes me, makes me just a little bit sad that I got so far and fell so hard. Uh, 3, I don't think I ever actually got anywhere near the end uh and elden ring is just a whole a whole journey i couldn't tell you how far i am in that game i could be near the end i could be like still in the tutorial and not even know it um but yeah i really enjoy the games they've got just a hook i don't know what it is like i say i'm not good at them by any means i will get laid out and i'll get i'll get gamer angie at them every time I play them, but I keep coming back. <laughs> it's like, I'm not having, oh no, I am having fun. I don't know what it is about just getting beaten to the ground and losing repeatedly that is enjoy <laughs> enjoyable to me, specifically in this context, but it is a good time. I enjoy them very much. Um, maybe, maybe one day I'll finish the games. <laughs> I'll finish more than one of them. <laughs> Maybe we can get through that together. You guys can cheer me on. Give me the power I need to become the Elden Lord. Yeah, exactly. One day. Um, or or maybe not. Maybe Elden Core 6 will come out and I'll just move on to that instead. <laughs> uh, and then we got... What we got up next? We got Deep Rock Galactic. Rock and Stone to the Bone. Uh, this is a very... I play it very on and off. Because it's not go like I need a storyline to follow most of the time to keep me just focused and on track. And Deep Rock's just like, you know, mission to mission to mission to mission, just all kind of scattered around. But when I do get in, oh, it is so much fun. I love being a little, a little drunken dwarf man and just causing havoc in these mines, collecting every, digging for days, shooting bugs getting drunk at the bar before missions and not being able to tell what you're aiming at when you get dropped down in the pod. It is such a fun time when you're just looking to... Yeah, exactly. It's absolute chaotic goober energies. It's such a good time when you're looking to just, like, I don't know, kill, like, what, an hour, a day, maybe. If you just want to get... If you just want to get lost down in the caves for a little bit... That is, yeah, that is the game. Run around, be silly. You want to, do you want to go around burning? <laughs> okay, let's back up that thought. 
are you the kind of person that when you see a spider, you immediately reach for, you know, an aerosol can or whatever? Because that's just... Don't do that, by the way. But that's just the natural reaction to spiders existing for you. It is for me. And in Deep Rock Galactic, it lets me do that. Um, you get to burn bugs. Don't want to burn bugs? Get a get a funny little goo gun and just sh <laughs> just shoot your goo at them. <laughs> or get a freeze ray. Make some nice icicles of them. Uh, or just ignore the guns entirely. Play scout. Just zip around for an hour. All his teammate's gonna do s <laughs> tell you to stop. Doesn't matter. You got your fancy zip line. You're zooming. You don't care about them. You're already in the next mission. They don't even know. It's such a, a yeah, exactly. Such a chaotic goober energy game. It's a fun one to come back to. <laughs> if you wish to be a dubious little creature, this is the game for that. <laughs> Uh, and then, last up on the video games, we got spooky games. As previously mentioned, I am a coward. <laughs> I am not good with horror games. I play them, um, I think not at all. I can't remember the last one I even looked at in uh, my game collection. But I really like watching other people play them because I do think they're interesting and can be uh, just 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 fun. I, I do still think they're a fun time, and it's you know it's a it's a little bit it's fun to see people getting spooked, but you don't want to be spooked yourself. But you you still kind of get a little spooked, but it's the safer kind of spook because they're not actually coming at me. I'm just seeing them come at people. I need that level, that extra level of separation of someone else's screen before I'm okay with horror games. Otherwise, nah, too spooky. I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> I just, I just can't. <laughs> uh, and then we got the tabletop games, because I'm not just a video game boy. As mentioned before, big nerd energy in this one. Oh no, that wasn't right. Ah! Ignore this. Nothing happened. <laughs> uh, for our tabletop games though where nothing went wrong oh so I'll be playing horror games oh yeah that's actually like first on my list when we <laughs> when we get to uh, the week schedule it's gonna be seven days of horror line me up for I know them so well I can't even think of a horror game to finish this bit with <laughs> I, I'm just that good I'm that engrossed in them you know, seven days, there's like seven Five Nights at Freddy's games, right? We can do them one a day. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, tabletop games, though. I like my war games. Those ones I make and paint those minis for. We go 40k, because we, we, like, we like our sci-fi. We like it to be grim and dark and serious and it's actually kind of a little bit goofy when you look a bit more into it but they want you to think it's grim and dark and serious even though it's kind of it's kind of dumb actually but it's fun it's f <laughs> it's the fun dumb it's the just get your nicely painted armies together uh, sit down with a friend have a good time play for five hours four and a half of which are looking up the rules if that's the kind of game that you're into 40k age of sigma that's your can't recommend them enough uh although i have been getting more into like the smaller skirmish games uh the big armies just takes too long it's too much to manage for me at the moment uh and it's too much for my it's too much for my bank because it co it's an expensive hobby. I'm not going to lie. It costs way too much for what it is. But the little skirmish games, you only need like, like five guys. And that saves you so, so much money. It's so good. They're fun. The rules are more streamlined. Like I say, you only need five guys, which is the big sell for me. <laughs> is I don't have to spend as much. It's great. Uh, t uh, where are we? TTRPGs. This did originally just say D&D, &D, but I'm trying to break off from D&D &D a little bit. 
I do like it. Five edition has been, I think I've been playing it since five edition started. Um, it's been good to me, for the most part. We're not talk about Sword Coast Adventure Guide. It's fine. We can just forget that happened, and we can pretend D and D Five E's just been a good time. Uh, but I'm trying to branch out into other TTRPGs at the moment. Um, I've got the Pathfinder 2nd Edition core book I've been looking through. That looks like fun. Did you know there's like three classes that just get to turn into dragons at higher levels? Just because? That's really cool. Why wouldn't you want to just turn into a dragon? Can you tell me? You can't, because everyone wants to be a dragon. Dragons are cool. Yeah. Um, I also... Oh, what's the one I recently got? Um, I backed it a while ago. The Avatar Legends uh, role-playing game. Runs off the Powered by the Apocalypse system. I've started looking through that a bit. That's a... That's a weirder one for me to get into. Just because I'm so used to the D20 system. It looks, it looks like a lot of fun. But I'm just so... Very used to a d20 dice roll heavy uh, system. It's weird to like imagine how the Power by the Apocalypse stuff works. And it has, it's a very, it's not sponsored, not sponsored, not sponsored. It's a very well put together book and I really like it. Um, I just wish I had people to play with, Sag. Um, and I wish that it has like a lot of examples of how things should go, like how these mechanics work and that helps a lot but again I just it's hard for me to switch over that's just such a big leap from 5e to <laughs> oh don't worry but you'll find a way out um but from 5e to Pathfinder obviously that's they're still not the same games but it's the same kind of run from 5e to something like Powered by the Apocalypse that is a huge a huge big boy jump of uh, game styles and I think the only other one I've played is uh, World of Darkness that's the other one I played a little bit of Mage the Awakening a long 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 time ago that didn't really go anywhere uh, but I've also played quite a bit of that well I say quite a bit I've played a couple of sessions <laughs> of um, Vampire the Masquerade and that's been that's been a fun time. I really enjoy being a being a spooky vampire. Uh, they have a uh, again. It's hard to go through. I've never had. I don't think I've ever had like a bad session of vampire. It's always been a good time. It's always I've just just you know flat out laugh fun, or you walk away soup. We do in this house. We love vampires. Um, but yeah, it's always been a good time with Vampire. There's always been just like fun, wacky stuff going on or serious intrigue to get into. Um, I don't remember the different clans, but I think uh, a moment I'm not going to forget anytime soon is being... Oh, I don't think it was Bruja. It was a uh, playing a character and having the ability to like talk to animals... And while we were in, we were on a stairwell or something in pursuit of someone for some reason. I'm sorry, it was a, I am very sorry. It was a while ago. The uh, details are a little bit fuzzy. We were chasing a guy for a reason. <laughs> um, and I was like, ah, I know. I can use my, I can use my talk to animals. I'm like a druid guy. Uh, and cue my character just kind of opening a window, leaning out, f and just, I guess, cooing at some pigeons. <laughs> which, which you know, understandably, had everyone giving him some kind of kind of odd looks, because who the hell just coos at pigeons? Uh, and it wasn't even... Uh, that sounds about right. Yeah, because there's like some crossover, but they do it different. No... It might have been Gangrel. Like I say, it's been a while since I've looked into uh, a while since I've looked into vampire stuff. Unfortunately, I'd really like to play a 
uh, vampire game again sometime soon. That'll be a fun time. May I, may I include some pigeons again and people will be just as weirded out by it. Um, in case you want a conclusion to that little bit though, uh, the pigeons didn't know anything. I just made myself look like a weirdo for the hell of it, I guess. Didn't, didn't get anything out of it. Because <laughs> why would you? They're just pigeons. Outside a building where the guy we were looking for was running around inside. <laughs> was, when you look back at it in hindsight, it was kind of dumb, but it was fun. So, I guess. <laughs> um, and last but not least, we got, we got Magic the Gathering. Uh, I have a very... <laughs> I have a very love-hate relationship with magic. I don't... <laughs> it's kind of like the spooky games. It's kind of like the Sekiro Souls Born Ring stuff. I'm not having fun with magic, but I want to play again. <laughs> I really enjoy playing um, Commander, mainly. I'm not that into Standard or any of the actual competitive formats of what there's like 49 of the 50 for magic are you know usual play styles but no i prefer commander just get all you guys together have fun have like eight people playing at once because why not just to be there for a for a good time for a long time because you know you got a lot of cards to go through but just have a good time make fun decks i cannot fathom cannot imagine myself ever getting like competitive with magic i would hate to fall down that uh fall down that rabbit hole but it's really fun for like a um for just getting into it more casually just having a good time with it just just playing the uh just playing the fun ways making a making a kooky deck making a fun theme deck you know what i mean yeah you know what i mean Ooh. what we got whoops what we got up next we got the music and the musicals. My <laughs> my favorite slide that I caught no lack of grief for. Uh, what music do I like looking, listening to? I like listening to all kinds of music. I will probably listen to any artist at least once. Uh, and even if I decide at the time, you know what, it's not for me, I'll probably listen to them again. Because, you know, they have variation between their songs, albums. Uh, the best example of this is my number one for me. I love listening to Voltaire. And it feels like every album he puts out is a completely different style. His most recent one was like a... Uh, a kind of pseudo musical. We're back on that. We're straight into the musicals again. A kind of pseudo musical continuation of the movie Labyrinth, which I am very much a big fan of. Really like Labyrinth. So having my favorite artist do a spiritual successor to a movie I enjoyed so much, it was such a good time for me. Loved it. Uh, Paul Shapiro, my number one for musicals. I've been listening to his stuff. Um, for quite a few years now. The New Albion saga with all its spin-offs and stuff. I'm, I'm unfortunately a little bit behind. I'm not entirely up to date. Um, which is a shame on me. But it got me... It really hooked me at the um, start with The Dolls of New Albion. It was a really good uh, album. And I've been following him ever since. I do need to catch up. Um, every installment has like its own little different theme but yeah like um, the dolls where it all started it was steampunk then I believe the sequel was diesel punk then it went to cyberpunk and then it just kind of kept going it kept going through it kept changing it up you know what I mean it's again it's a little bit of a little bit of everything for whatever your fancy is but it's uh it's a really cool, uh, huge narrative, and even when oh, I don't know where I'm going with that train of thought, actually, but it's it's a really fun time. I highly recommend, really everyone that's on here right now, but highly recommend if you're a fan of musicals, go uh, go check out Paul. He's really cool. Um, I'll lump them together because I 
can can't think of one without the other. Jonathan Young, Kayla Piles. Uh, again, great music. Love listening to them. Uh, their covers, very good. A lot of the time, I do prefer their covers to the original. Again, maybe hot take, maybe mid. I just think they have or do really nice spins on them. Um, Star Kid, again, again, I'm I'm a big fan of musicals. They do all musicals. I don't know. I don't know what more I can do on that. They do really good work. Um, favorite show from them is probably Black Friday. I think. I don't know. It changes through a lot. I really like Black Friday. I think it's got some really good numbers, but I also really like Annie because I'm a Star Wars nerd as much as I don't like where it is at the moment. I'll always kind of be a Star Wars nerd at heart, and having a Star Wars parody musical is a fun time for everyone. Uh, and then we got Red Bull and we got Sabaton. Because it's not always, it's not always uh, calm and comfy. Sometimes you just want to get loud. You want to go wild. You want to make some noise. And when you want to make some noise, I just want to blast La Sabaton constantly, honestly. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, who else we got up? Uh, and then musicals, we got Wicked. It was the first musical I ever got to see in person. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was wonderful. I'm so glad I got to see it. I wish I could go uh, see it again. You know, recent years it's been a little bit difficult, but uh, maybe one day, maybe one day I get the chance to. Hades Town. I was again so lucky to see that in person. I've. It was a wonderful show. I think one of my best nights out. It. Uh, <laughs> Fun story for that one. Uh, on the way out, uh, as I was leaving, I got to overhear someone, someone make the little uh, comment that, you know, it was a good show, but the ending was a little predictable. I don't, I don't know if you know Hades Town. It is based on the uh, the Greek tale of Orpheus and Persephone. So yeah, I'd say that it would be a little bit predictable, having been written a few thousand years ago, but. You know, oh, maybe that's just me. I don't know. I thought that was kind of funny, kind of funny. Um, Lightning Thief. I haven't seen the actual actual musical. Shame on me. I'm sure. Um, but I listen to the soundtrack a lot. I think it's a good one. I really liked. Uh, <laughs> I really liked the Percy Jackson books. Although I think I only got past the first two. And I recently found out there was a lot more. Um, but I <laughs> I really liked The Lightning Thief. I really liked hearing that there was a musical based off The of Lightning Thief. And I think it's real a real fun time. Um, definitely better than the movie they made of it. Um, and then the last one on the list is Heather's. My, my good friend Eros late one night said, Hey you should watch Heathers, and I went, okay, and then I went onto Google, uh, not Google, I went to YouTube, I typed in Heathers, and the very first result was the soundtrack to the musical, and I listened to that, and it wasn't until a while later, until I, <laughs> until I was told, oh no, I meant the movie, I don't think you look for the musical, I was like, well, I don't know what to tell you. I did the first thing that came up. It's just it's just my style, I guess. <laughs> shoulda shoulda been more specific. If you wanted me to watch a specific one and there was more than one of them. Uh anime and manga. Ooh, we're at one long time. We're gonna shoot through these. Anime and manga. Uh Jojo, I've watched up to part five. Haven't read any of it. Um, because there's just so much going on, I'm not going to go through it again. I have a very love-hate relationship with JoJo. I'm a huge fan. I like it, enjoy it very much. Um, but it also makes me so angry from part... Oh, part 3 onwards? Yes, part 3 is when they started introducing stands. Stands is where 
they started setting up rules and breaking rules, and that makes me, oh, it tilts me. It makes me so tilted. Uh, Gundam. Big fan of Gundam. Uh, I got into Gundam the same way I got into Demon Slayer down there, which is uh, Demon Slayer. I saw a Nendroid of Inosuke, and I was like, I've seen that little gremlin guy come up in clips every now and then. I'm going to get a, an android of him. And I ordered it and I went, you know what? I should probably know what this thing's about, you know? And then I started watching Demon Slayer. I was like, oh, this is actually really cool. And I kept watching Demon Slayer. I have watched uh, up to... I finished the movie was the last thing I watched. And then I was like, oh, this is coming out too slow. Uh, and then I started reading through the manga. And I have finished it. i um, done with Demon Slayer. I might go back and watch the anime though, because the pacing was a little iffy for me in the manga. It was better in the... So maybe they can do it better in the anime. I'm hoping so. I'm really hoping. Uh, but Gundam was similar story. Uh, I really like the design of the Zaku 2 uh, mobile suits. I think they're really cool. And my friend said they were getting into Gunpla. And I was like, what the, what the heck is a Gunpla? And I looked at him like, wow, that's rad. Uh, so I started collecting Gunpla, and I was like, you know what, I should, I should see what this whole thing's about. So I started watching Gundam. Uh, I've only seen the movie cuts of the original, because that is a lot to watch. And I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit dated. It came out quite a while ago. It's not necessarily bad, it's just a little bit old. It's a lot to watch for it. So I watch movie cuts, and it's not terrible. Uh, I think a lot of the stuff's lost on me because I've watched it super cutted, but it's good. I like Gundam. Uh, I also started watching Iron Blooded Orphans. Favorite series so far. Love it. It's cool. Big robots doing cool stuff. We love to see it. My Hero Academia. Uh, animation was rad. Got me hooked in. Fun time. Uh, again, uh, the anime went up to a point. Just started reading for it. I'm now almost up to date. Please, no spoilers. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, I, I just read through it. I haven't watched the anime yet. Um, I need to get back, though, because some of the stuff looks good. Spike's Family, a recommendation, uh, again, from my friend Eris, is like, hey, this is a fun thing. I'm like, yeah, okay, that looks like a fun thing. It's a very fun thing. I'm glad that uh, I got recommended that. Assassination Classroom, I just started reading because I got a little bit bored. Uh, I got through it. I finished it. Yes, I did cry. It's sad. It's, it gets pretty sad at the end. <laughs> uh, it's me. Fun fact. I got... It's not just the hoodie. I do wear stuff under this. I got a t-shirt. And uh, on the back... It is me. It's me. Uh, but yeah. the Fun fact. Not just the uh, hoodie. We got the t-shirt. Which I would show you. But you know. It's it's still December. It's still a little cold. I think I'll, te I'll keep the hoodie on for now. I <laughs> think so much. Uh, and then we got a. Uh, and then the straps aren't just to make me look a little bit more like a Final Fantasy character. They do actually link up to a backpack right there. My nice uh, poppy print pack. Perfect for transporting all your gamer needs your controllers, uh, your paint pods, all of that. All your nice stuff that you might want to take around. Ooh. Goals. What are my goals for streaming? I want to get good at games. Like I said, I like the uh, Sekiro Souls Born Ring games. Oh, that's so tricky to say. I like the Sekiro Souls Born Ring games. I want to get good at them. Uh, <laughs> or, oh no. I like them, but I'm bad. I want to I wanna get good. I want to become the good at the video game. Maybe one day we'll get there. Um, question mark on singing? I like to sing. To myself uh, exclusively at the moment um, but maybe hey maybe one day one day to you guys mayhaps possibly uh, third goal I just want to make you guys smile if I can walk away from this and it has made one person's or if I can walk away from a stream and it's made one person's day better just put that smile on their lips I will consider that a good good stream uh, rapid fire through the oh we've run over oh no rapid fire through the credits uh, 
my VTuber Mama did the art for the law video and did the editing. We got Cupid Bill. Thank you very much. You've done so, so much work on this. Uh, I don't think I can thank you enough for it. Uh, the rigging on me. The reason the reason I can do all this. Ugh. Oh, the reason I can I can move around. I can talk. I can see you guys. Is from uh, Richard T. Three D. Go uh, if you got any rigging needs. Needs go show him some love. Say thank you for doing. It. Or Hypno says thank you for making him. You know, not just a stack static image. It's ten out of ten. Uh, our group social media ma uh, manager, Film Freak One Two Three. Uh, if you haven't, if you have seen me on Twitter, you see in my little bio, I am only one half of Lucid Limerent. Oh my god, that is so hard to say. Uh, I'm a one half of our little group here, um, and our our group account is run by uh, my good friend Film Free One Two Three. Again, thank them for their work. They're doing a good job. Love them for it. Uh, logo design by by my bestie over here, Eros. Thank you for the logo, very good. And then the little little stingers you see between the slides and the music you got to hear on the bah, 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 just starting page by, I don't entirely know how to pronounce that, I'm gonna say spooky, but there it's there. Again, give them love, support. 10 out of 10, love their work. They've been, it's been a big help having them uh, there. And then the big thing, we got our schedule for this week coming up. Uh, I'm still kind of, <laughs> I'm still kind of uh, waking up, getting used to it. So unfortunately, the first part of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'll be sleeping for half the week. I'm not gonna lie. But here in time for the uh, weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard, 7 uh, Eastern, or Midnight those days, uh, Greenwich Mean Time. Friday, we got Battle Block Theatre with my buddy Eris hanging with us. Saturday, keep talking, nobody explodes. We're gonna defuse bombs, uh, surely forgetting the grudges that were built the day before. And then Sunday, uh, again, with Eris. And then Sunday, I'm gonna be playing some Inscription, a spooky, spooky card game slash escape room thing. Uh, and Eris is going to be hanging with me for it. Ugh, that was so much to get through. We have run over time. I am going to try and send you guys off swiftly and smoothly. Oh, I know my own chat rules. That's fine. But uh, thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming. Um... Again, it is good to good to be here. Good, to, oh, please. Uh, good to be with you. I hope I can see you on the follow-up days. Uh, I am gonna send you over over to my good bud Eros. Show him some love. Hang out on the chat. Show him a good time. Uh, again, I will see you guys. Oh, that's not the right link. Oh no. Uh, I will see you guys.